Hello, everybody. Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Obviously, that was a different opening than you're accustomed to, as well as this background is something certainly different than what you're accustomed to. And you're probably wondering, okay, what's the deal with the snow in the opening and in the background? Well, it's time for our long range winter forecast. It's one of the most anticipated forecasts that I put out every single year. And it's time to talk about what we're gonna see potentially this winter here in Rowan County. And one of the things I like to do is share what the National uh, Oceanic Aviation Administration is talking about in their forecast. And they're predicting a 50% chance of a milder winter uh, in the Southeast, specifically in the states of North Carolina, most of South Carolina, most of Tennessee, the upstate of Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, and as you go west. Now that doesn't mean that um, this winter is going to be hot by any means. What they're saying when they refer to something as mild, let's say the average temperatures over the entire winter, let's say the average temperature typically would be like 43 degrees overall, and that would be a uh, mean temperature between the highs and the lows all calculated together and then divided by the number of days in, in the winter season, which is from December 1st through March 1st every year. And that's how we do climat climatological uh, winter uh, in the uh, Carolinas and also around the world because that's how it's recognized by the National Weather Service. So you could see the average temperature for this winter being instead of let's say 43 degrees, it could be 54 degrees. And what that would mean is, is there were a period of days over the entire winter season that temperatures were above average. Doesn't mean that we're gonna have 70 degree days, 60 degree days, anything like that. Just means temperatures are gonna be a little bit warmer than you would normally see during the winter. Now let's talk about the, uh, chance of a drier winter and it looks like we've got about a 30 percent chance of a drier than normal winter and I agree with that assessment for Rowan County as well. Uh, again it's all about placement of the air currents it's all about placement of, of currents that bring in moisture to us the position of the jet stream and the big key factor for us on that especially when we talk about air is the uh, presence of either La Nina or El Nino over the winter season. And with us this season, unfortunately, La Nina has a much stronger placement than El Nino does. And we've seen that with the fact that we've had quite a few hurricanes that have made their way into the Gulf of Mexico this hurricane season. As a matter of fact, we, we're gonna have uh, at least 10 or 11 named storms that will uh, make landfall in the US this season. And uh, you know, the majority of those have actually impacted the Gulf of Mexico. So that has a direct impact from La Nina and how the how she's got the Gulf Stream going, how she's got the jet stream going, how the different uh, water currents are going. La Nina is having a strong impact on us. Now, as you can see here, and I'm going to do some drawing here. So here's our jet stream with the La Nina placement. And it kind of divides everything for us. So this blue line is the jet stream. And you can see that it's, it's going to bottle up cold air up in you know Canada and in the northern part of the United States. If you head to the Pacific Northwest, it's going to be wetter there. Well, that's no big surprise, right? It tends to always be wet in Seattle anyway. Uh, you know, they get rain the majority of the year. Uh, but in the southern part of the country, you can see dry air is bottled up which means that they could run the risk of seeing a, uh, a drought driven winter. And then of course, where we are, we're kind of trapped in between warmer air and wetter air. Now, the big thing that uh, will have an impact, I believe for us, that could be, if you're a snow lover, it could favor you sometimes during the winter and uh, other times during the winter, it will not favor you at all because to get snow, you have to have cold air and you have to have moisture in place at the same time. If you have moisture in place ahead of cold air, it's gonna be rain, it's just the way it is. If you have cold air in place ahead of moisture and as the moisture starts to move in and the cold air is pulling out, that's where you run the risk of getting potentially a wintery mix and less of a chance of snow, or you run the risk of getting just a really cold rain. That cold air has to be deeply in, embedded into the area with moisture in place as well for you to be able to get snow. It's just the, the way of the beast for us here in the Carolinas. Now, there will be times throughout the winter where we could see the jet stream actually pull up north on us. If that does in fact happen and we have moisture along with cold air coming in at the same time, uh, then you 
get the chance for snow. Likely if the jet stream pulls up north, though, it's going to pull this drier air up with it, which means that we could have periods of time where we have uh, a very dry, more mild situation for us. But if the opposite happens, let's say the jet stream decides it's going to take a big dip and go south. Well, if it does that, it will pull in this colder air as well for us maybe potentially break off some of the polar vortex from time to time, a piece of energy off of it and bring it down to us. And if it does that and we get moisture in here as well at the same time, then we will see the possibility for snow. A lot of uh, uncertainties as we head into the winter season because there's still plenty of time, obviously. I mean, we're talking about this depending on when you're watching it at the end of October, the 1st of November. Uh, you know, it's very possible we're talking about things that are a month, two months, maybe even two and a half to three months away. So we'll have to keep an eye on as we go through the winter season. Now, with all that said, let's talk about what I think is going to happen for Rowan County with the um, upcoming long range winter forecast for us. Let me get my drawing tools off so I can actually advance to my next screen. And so let's, what I do is when I start to talk about the long range winter forecast, I always go back and look at the the 35 prior winter seasons for Rowan County. And why do I just look at Rowan County? Well, because that's gonna have the impact on my forecast. This is Rowan County weather, and I wanna know what specifically has happened in Rowan County to be able to look at trends, to be able to look at forecast patterns, and to be able to tell you what I think is going to happen for the winter. So the first thing I wanna look at is the fact of snowfall accumulation. Everybody wants to know about it. It's, it's the biggest part of your winter forecast when you're putting these long range forecasts together. And over the last 35 years, the winter of 1986 and 1987 had the most snowfall accumulation with 12 inches of snowfall. The winter of 1993 to 1994 had the least snowfall accumulation with only a trace of, snow, of snowfall. Now, there have been periods in that time where there has been zero inches of snowfall. So it really look, it comes down to, um, you know, what's going to be the setup for us this year. And if we look back at last winter, we only had a half an inch of measurable snowfall during the winter season. And if you're looking at my charts off on the right here, let me turn my drawing tools back on again for you. That is number two all time in terms of measurable snowfall for Rowan County going back to 1893. So last winter, we had a very uh, unfavorable uh, situation for us with snowfall around Rowan County. And, you know, we could see that again this year. We'll talk about that more in a moment, or we could see the opposite. What else I look for in the last 35 winter seasons around the county is I look at the um, rainfall, how much, or I'm sorry, the temperature, excuse me, how much uh, was the temperature impacted over the last 35 seasons? Well, when you want to see what the coldest winter season of all time has been for us, well, at least over the last 35 years, 2009 and 2010 was the coldest winter season with an average temperature of 37.8 degrees. So that was a very cold winter season for us. And you know, it's interesting if you go and look just a few years later, 2016, 2017, that winter season was the warmest winter season over the last 35 years for us with the average temperatures of around 47.1 degrees. Now, again, remember what we're talking about there is the combination of the high temperature and the low temperature for every day from December 1st through March 1st. Then we divide that by the number of days in that period to come up with what the average temperature was. So that's the mean temperature between all the highs and all the lows in there. So that's what we look at. Now, with all that said, what are my long, long range winter predictions? Well, I think the first thing we'll talk about is the average highs. They're gonna fluctuate between 40 and 60 degrees. So not gonna be an overly cold winter by terms of what we could get. I mean, you know, typically when most folks think, think of winter, they think that we tend to get between the 20s and the 40s for highs or you know, in the teens and 30s for lows. Uh, but lows this year, I think are gonna fluctuate between 20 and 40 degrees. Now that doesn't mean we're not gonna have some periods where we see highs above 60 and we see lows below 20, we could certainly do that. It's all gonna be relevant to how the jet stream and high pressure systems and low pressure systems and cold fronts are working for us because those are all gonna have impacts just like they do any time of year. The only difference is, as you're talking about a temperature range, you know, in the wintertime, it's 30 to 40 degrees cooler than what it is in the summertime. 
and we'll continue to see how it plays out for us. Now on to the big thing, snowfall accumulation. So everybody wants to know what I think we're going to get in terms of snowfall this year. When you take all the factors in for what we've looked at, first of all, over the last 35 seasons, what the trends are showing for this season and what uh, the La Nina placement is right now, again, there will be fluctuations. I think we will have opportunities for snow over the winter months, but the question is, is how many opportunities? I don't think we're going to see a lot of opportunities. I think we're going to see uh, maybe one or two big opportunities for us, and we just have to hope. If you're a snow lover, you have to hope that cold air is in place and moisture is in place at the same time. If you have one ahead of the other or one leaving just as the other is coming in, it's not going to work out for you if you're looking for snow. You run, you run the risk again of either a potential winter mix or you run the risk of a cold rain, you know, depending on the scenario. But as far as what I'm predicting, predicting for snowfall accumulation over the winter months, again, this is from December 1st through March 1st. I'm going with one to three inches of snowfall around the county in terms of what I think we'll see this winter in Rowan County. Now, again, that might not be something that, uh, you know, if you're a snow lover, you want to hear, but I think that's where we are. Uh, there's obviously plenty of time that things can change. I'm not a fan of long range forecasts. That's why on Rowan County weather, I only do five day forecast. I don't like to do seven. I really don't like to do five. That's a little bit out of where I think we can hit four days is usually really accurate in terms of what you're looking at. Once you get to anything beyond seven, to give you an idea of an example, it's like trying to take a marble and hitting a dot of about one inch in diameter on, a, on the side of a wall that's 75 feet away from you. Your chances of doing that are very slim. But in a four day period, it's like taking a beach ball and standing a foot away from that dot and trying to throw it and hit the center of that dot. You got a much better chance of doing it. So we'll certainly keep you updated on the winter weather as we get into the winter months. But for now, this is the long range winter forecast. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather and have a great day.